Hello everybody, this is Jack Owen Parker with the Owen Parker Real Estate Team. I'm your real estate professional out here in Las Vegas and Henderson, as well as California. Today I'm out here in Las Vegas near the Strip, and I'll keep it kind of brief out here because it is quite hot, but uh, I'm going to present this home to you today. It's built in 1962. It has this amazing pool you don't find these days. It's about 11 feet deep, has a diving board and a, uh, a slide right there, and the back of me is a fully detached uh, guest house casita and the house itself is gigantic and there's a lot more to this home uh, than uh, it seems to be so let's go on inside and let me take you through a tour and uh, show you all of the uh, quirks and features of this home and I hope you enjoy the uh, tour and as well please by all means uh, like and subscribe and comment uh, and anything that you want to request as well please leave in the comment field and here is the front of the property in this neighborhood. Uh, it does feature these mature homes and trees. It's very well maintained in this area. Uh, and here is the front of your home. And I'm sure I did not mention yet that this home does have solar and it is fully paid for as well. Uh, I do like some of the architectural features they did. Uh, they are somewhat basic, but they uh, set the house off uh, really nice. And over here would be your side yard and the entry into your uh, backyard there. And my apologies, that was a helicopter that just went by. And there's the helicopter right there. So let's go on in. Okay, so I'm gonna start this tour uh, here at the front door of this home. It seems like there is a couple of front doors at this house, which would be located uh, directly opposite of where I am standing on the other side of the home. And when you walk in, you walk into this sunken uh, living room here. Uh, it does look like they just fully redid this home. And I will say this tour might be uh, a little long because there is so much uh, in this home to show you. So over here, they set this up as a pool room. This is located in the front of the home. And outside of those shutters there is your driveway. Uh, and I will take you over to the garage over here in just a second. So over here is your uh, additional living room. And again, it is sunk in, so uh, it's kind of set up for a uh, entertainment area. And by the way, this property, if you're an entertainer, this is the property for you. There is so much to this property uh, when I show you that uh, you can imagine the amazing parties that you could have here. So let's go on in here into the garage. And with this home, you do have a two-car garage. Uh, it does look like it's insulated. And I do believe at one point this might have been the carport. So, and I believe the room that I was just in was maybe possibly the actual garage. So coming out of the garage, uh, you step up to this first bedroom here. And this area is almost uh, set up like a, a guest area that you can close off to the rest of the home. This bedroom also leads you out to the pool area back here, uh, as well as in the backyard is there's the uh, casita guest house as well. So in here, this features a shower, uh, not quite a full bath, and it does have uh, some basic uh, finishes in here. And uh, these finishes are actually not bad, so it does look like they were here uh, a little bit of time, but they do uh, look really nice. You have some nice white cabinetry below you and also uh, just some basic uh, lighting over here. And they also put that marble uh, into the bathroom as well. In this portion of the house, they did use this vinyl uh, flooring. It does look like separate planks and it's actually quite beautiful. So uh, they did a great job. Over here, you have a walk-in closet that's already built in. So uh, completely have everything organized in this area when you move in. And down the hall here uh, features an additional bedroom. Over here to your left, this also has two doors that lead outside to the pool area. And you have two closets on each side. Uh, they're small, but they're here. And uh, I'll take you guys out there in just a moment. So come on backing over here. I'm gonna take you into the bathroom. 
my apologies. Let me turn the light on for you. And as you can see, uh, it is uh, a new bathroom here. They did do a nice job on the tile work and they put this nice uh, shower system in here for you. And this bathtub also has a uh, jet feature. So it's pretty deluxe actually. And uh, these are actually kind of low. These are kind of hitting just above my knee. So this is short and maybe they did that for the uh, two sinks at the top here. But uh, they do have some modern lighting in here and uh, the bathroom is set up fairly well. And then coming back over here is an additional bedroom. And my apologies, it's a little bit dark, uh, but uh, this is the only one I actually had to work with. And I do think that was uh, maybe the exterior of the home and was possibly a window at one point. But needless to say, this room does have a nice closet over here. Uh, it is your standard wall closet, but it does have some built-in shelving so you can organize it uh, pretty easily. And if you notice, they put some molding around here, uh, these spindles uh, and this nice molding down. So they did pay attention to some detail when they did this home. And to the left over here is the doorway into the main house. And this is where you can shut off this uh, portion of the house. So if you have guests, they can have their own quarters. So over here is where I entered. And I'm going to take you over here. Uh, let me go over here to the left first. So this is your, uh, looks like the original living room of this home when it was built. And I love the fireplace over here. It is painted uh, uh, brickwork uh, that they did back in the day. And th by the way, this is really typical design uh, for the uh, 60s. Uh, in fact, I have a home built in the same era and this is exactly the same uh, brickwork on my fireplace. So panning over here, they have this little area you can uh, organize all of your office uh, needs or whatnot, but you can do whatever you like with this area. And in here, I won't go all the way in, but you have your shower over here. They did bring the tile all the way to the top. And they did give you a new uh, van vanity as well. And I'm sorry, I always shut the toilets when I go through homes, but that one I missed. In this area, they have this really nice oversized uh, bedroom here with your standard wall closet. Again, it's built in. Uh, so uh, they did pretty much uh, cover all the bases in this home. So uh, it'd be pretty easy to move into. Outside of this room uh, is this nice uh, area here. And if it were me, I would go ahead and just put some doors here and open this up and make this an additional area so you can enjoy uh, with the backyard here. So this is the uh, outside of the home here. And out there is where you have just some additional area to make your own. Now coming back out here to the main house again, uh, where I just walked into, I wanna show you these nice doors that they put in here. Uh, these are nice style uh, farm doors uh, and they did a great job and again this is designed to shut this area off too if you have a guest and you know actually if you shut this off it'd probably help with your bill uh, if you want to heat or cool an area and keep it out of the other so uh, some fairly cost effective uh, back here uh, this is where your kitchen is uh, this kitchen is completely redone and they did a beautiful job on it uh, they give you this nice waterfall feature uh, marble over here. And I do like that it has more of a matte finish on it. And uh, they did give you, I believe, some appliances that have been here. Uh, these black appliances here, which are Kenmore. And above that is a nice new Samsung microwave. Also, they added this nice horizontal tile work here. Uh, it has this mirrored effect to it as well. And over here, they gave you this oversized sink. And, uh, and over here, I do kind of like this. Uh, I, I usually like just a single sink, but this is a nicely designed because it's a little smaller over here. So you can actually, uh, more usable. Over here is your dishwasher and your refrigerator is on this side as well. So coming back here is your laundry room, or water heater, 
And I must say that this water heater is a little smaller than a normal heater, so I'd say that's about a 40 gallon. And I would most likely upgrade that into the home this size. Now panning over here is the other living room that you have. Uh, they have this, I think this is maybe another front door is what I was saying. So over here you have the seating area and they did put this really nice oversized fan here. Uh, I love these fans. It has a short stack so it fits really right in this house. The ceilings are not super tall but definitely tall enough uh, for the era and they look like about eight feet. And here's the room over here uh, that leads out to that extra area out there. So uh, this is a pretty nice area over here as far as uh, the de design of this property. Uh, a lot of areas you can have some privacy and enjoy yourself. So coming back over here. So coming back over here to this uh, living room, I'm going to take you back here, which this is set up like a next gen suite. Uh, this is separating you uh, with the doors here and you have some additional doors here as well. I imagine at one point this might have been open uh, to the outside as a breezeway to walk into the home. But over here they gave you this uh, additional area where you have a kitchen, you have your living room, uh, dining room area. They really set these tiles up nicely as far as look like some nice uh, 9 by 18s and uh, this also leads you out to that additional space wrapping around this side of the home and I'm sorry it's not focusing there it goes and over here they gave you this kitchen uh, definitely a good size to uh, cook in it and uh, you've got all of your appliances that you need excluding your dishwasher um, but uh, you definitely have enough uh, storage and cabinet space for your guest. Over here, I'm a little surprised because they did an amazing job with this bathroom. They had a lot of room to work with. And it looks like they did this really nice tile job, this marble through here, as well as this oversized, oversized shower. And at my apologies, it's quite dark. And over here, they give you this really nice uh, double vanity and you have your washer dryer and is here as well. And lastly, in this portion of the house is your bedroom and it's quite large. You have your nice wall closet here, which does span the entire wall. So this is a great bedroom, uh, more than enough space for uh, people coming and visiting you. So I'm gonna take you outside of the backyard and then we'll go back into the guest house. Here's your backyard here, which has a ton of room. Uh, it looks like they set it up uh, in the past, maybe for some vegetables over here. Put your uh, fire pit here. And uh, you have this amazing backyard over here, which you can literally have a picnic in. And uh, then you got this little zen area up here. So over here is the guest house, and I'm gonna take you in there. I'm going to pan back here and show you how big and beautiful this property is. And uh, this pool is simply amazing. Uh, you don't find pools that deep. But uh, come on in here and let me show you this place. I love this uh, large window here when you walk in. And over here you have another full-size kitchen. This is completely open over here to the outside. Could you imagine having some parties here? I mean, this would be a lot of fun. Over here is a living room area, along with that super cool window right here. And over here, you have another washer and dryer built in, as well as this uh, new bathroom over here. With this tile work i love this uh, nice wood vanity there and actually i wonder if that actually lights up nope 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 there it goes super cool mirror lights up love that and over here you have this beautiful shower they did 
It's a walk-in shower. I bet you could put a curtain if you like or such, but I would probably leave it, leave it open. And uh, they did this great herringbone kind of chevron down the bottom. And lastly, you have this bedroom, which is fairly large. Uh, and you have a wall closet over on that side. Okay, that uh, does conclude the tour of this home built in the 60s that is located down by the Strip and UMC Hospital. Uh, it's on the market, I believe, for $1.188 million. And if you're interested, please reach out. I'd be happy to show you this property. And uh, I'd love to help you uh, with uh, making this your home. So again, thank you guys so very much. This is Jack Owen Parker. Uh, please like and subscribe and have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.